said I wasn't going to get emotional about this. That's been a long journey. <laughs> People in Grady County are used to seeing Sheriff Gary Boggess in uniform, working to protect those in his community. But for the past six months, the biopsy came back and I had uh, stage four. Sorry. Uh, non Hoskins lymphoma. He's been fighting a different battle. Whenever I was diagnosed, they didn't give me much of a chance to start with. Uh, Stage four uh, and covers 75% of your body. And I have a picture that, you know, of the PET scan showing the, the cancer on my body. Sheriff Boggess says his office turned into hospital rooms. Since it was in my bone system, they did a very aggressive chemo. I had uh, six treatments, 21 days apart. And while cancer tested him in many ways, it never tested his faith. It's God that has brought me through all of this. Uh, it's the doctors only do what God allows them to do. And uh, it's, it's been, I definitely have a story. <laughs> Last week, Sheriff Bogus says his story turned a page. I come walking around the corner, had no clue. My, a lot of my staff was there, a lot of my friends were there. As he marked an important milestone by ringing the bell. <laughs> It's been crazy. Now, while his cancer journey may not be over. I still have the cancer cells are still there. They're just not showing right now. This cancer I have will come back. It can come back, they said. He says he'll keep fighting with the help of thousands of Oklahomans cheering him on. The support of my staff, the support of the, you know, the citizens of Grady County. You know, they kept me positive, uh, even at my weakest moments. We're going to keep cancer beat. Uh, I mean, Stay positive. In Grady County, Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.